students for standard 12 today we are going to study about pollination now pollination you know that it's a method which is adapted in sexual reproduction in plant where the pollen grains are transferred from the anther of a flower to the stigma of the same flower of the same species or on a different flower of the same species so uh, there are two types of pollination you must have heard this read this in other earlier classes self pollination and cross pollination now what is self pollination when the pollen grain is transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of the same flower on the same plant or at ca it can be on the stigma of another flower on the same plant then both are known as self pollination so there is a difference that the pollen grain is transferred from the anther of the same flower to the stigma of the same flower or it can be anther of one flower in the pl same plant to the stigma of another flower on the same plant so that means the earlier is known as the autogamy if it is the same flower if it is on another flower of the same species we call it dietonogamy so both uh, autogamy and dietonogamy are the two types of self pollination so we say that self pollination is of two types autogamy and dietonogamy now what is cross pollination if the pollen grain is transferred from one flower uh, anther of a one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same species uh, in a different plant then we call it a cross pollination so cross pollination always it has to be two different plants and that is we call it allogamy or another term is there called xenogamy allogamy or xenogamy is the same term which is uh, given to cross pollination now in autogamy there are two types of flower one is called a chiasmogamous flower another is called a cleistogamous flower now what is a chiasmogamous flower a chiasmogamous flower is that flower which usually is a self pollinated and opens up fully after the pollination has uh, the self pollination is uh, you know the self pollination has been done in the flower particularly in viola species we find this type of chiasmogamous flower in cleistogamous flower of course the flower do not open do not open at all so they are uh, definitely they are autogamous flower in case of chiasmogamous there can be in case of uh, mostly it is self pollinated but in some cases it can be uh, cross pollinated also but in cleistogamous flower the flower do not open at all and they are definitely autogam or uh, autogamous flower now in homogamy there is a term that uh, in homogamous mean anther and stigma open and mature at the same time so usually if the anther and the uh, what you call stigma matures at the same time there is a more chance of cell pollination because if they mature the anther will you know the pollen grain drops from the anther to the Uh, stigma without any barrier if there are if there is no barrier or if there is a correct pollen pistil interaction then that will so uh, lead to a self pollinated flower so homogamous flower what is the definition that if the anther and the uh, the stigma matures at the same time we call uh, them a homogamous flower now what are the advantages of self pollination now you see in a uh, self pollinated flower they are have a better survival rate that means you know the, the survival the pollination can be conducted very safely you know you can be sure the chances are sure so we say it's a surer process second is that uh, there is a homozygosity in the self pollinated flower that means the genetic uh, genetically they preserve the species you know if it is a very good plant generally the species is preserved that means they do not Uh, have interaction of other genes because it is in the same plant it is uh, organized in the same flower the same plant there are <coughs> of course some disadvantages now what are the disadvantages like say for example less vigor because continuous inbreeding you know that can lead to a inbreed depression because whenever there is a self pollination the same gene is being you know the, introduced into the plant and the weaker genes Uh, may be there in the plant it will cross the uh, it will cause a uh, what do you call the quality will uh, decrease 
So that is uh, we call uh, uh, inbred depressions can be there when there is a or loss of vigor. Genetically, they are also very weak. Self-pollinated plants are genetically weak. They have less adaptability. They cannot adapt to new uh, conditions. Like cross-pollinated flower, there you know there is a hybrid vigor is there. Always there is a in a hetero what you call the heterosis. Uh, sorry, there is a hybrid vigor means the hybrids are better than the parent plant. Cross-pollinated flower is also known as allogamy or xenogamy. Now, uh, there are certain contrivances or adaptability of the cross-pollination. That means nature always favors cross-pollination. Cross-pollination will always yield better quality of fruit, it will yield better quality of seeds, the survival rate is better. So, uh, nature always favors, so that we call it contrivances of cross-pollination. So, it's sometimes this question is asked, you know, the meaning you must know that it is the adaptability in the plant for uh, cross-pollination. So, what are those like, for example, cell sterility. In certain plants, if the same uh, pollen grain is dropping from the anther to the stigma of the same flower, that can lead to a wrong pollen crystal interaction and they will not fertilize, that is called the self sterility it will not lead to a proper pollination and fertilization process second is dicogamy you know dicogamy is that if the anther the time of maturation of the anther and the stigma is different like uh, if they are different time they are maturing naturally you know the chance of self pollination is always less so if the gynoecium mature means the pistil matures earlier than the anther we call it protogyny in magnolia we find, in magnolia plant we find this type of protogyny. In protandry is if the androsium, you know, you have to listen to this term gyne, means gynosium, the gynosium matures earlier than the, and protandry the androsium matures earlier than the gynosium. So that is uh, in, in case of helianthus. Helianthus is sunflower, we find protandry, the androsium matures earlier than the gynosium. So naturally they lead to cross pollination. Then there is another term called hypogamy. Hypogamy means you know there is a type of mechanical barrier which may arise in between the anther and the uh, stigma. So that mechanical barrier will not allow or if there is a difference in the uh, structure of the flower, the anther structure is different. So they may not draw the pollen grain on the uh, stigma of the plant. Like in pansy we find this type of there is a hood like structure which does not allow the same pollen grains to drop on the stigma of the plant. In that case, we say that it is Halcogamy gloriosa and pansy we cite this type of mechanical barrier and we call this term is also it will favor cross pollinations. The third is heterostyle. Style, you know, the style is the, the stock on which the uh, usually uh, the ovary is there. The stock just above the ovary and the, stig uh, the stigma is there where the landing of the pollen grain takes place. Heterostyle means the style is of different length than the length of the anther. Suppose the anther filament is longer than the style or the style is longer than the anther filament. In both cases, the chances of uh, the pollen grain falling on the stigma is uh, less as because of the different, uh, what you call the height of the style and the filament. So that's why we call it heterostyle. Sometimes they are long style, that means the, the pistil has a style which is longer than the anther loops. So the anther loops are below it, so chances of pollen grain dropping is less. And sometimes the short style means the style is shorter, stigma is shorter than the anther. So the pollen grain has a chance to fall out of the flower or not on the same flower. So that also leads to cross pollination. In Primula vulgaris, Primula vulgaris is an example of heterostyle where we find there is a difference in the length of the style and the stigma. Now unisexuality, unisexuality means in some plant there is only one sex, like say for example we say monoecious plant, you will see in maize plant the same plant bears the female cob and the male tassel. So naturally that can, in unisexual plant there is self pollination can be less, there can be cross pollination in uh, this type of plants where we have this uh, male and the female flower on the same plant but at different uh, length. Like in, in maize you will see the male flowers at the top and the female cobs at the bottom. Dioecious plants are the total unisexual plant, means the total plant is different. You will see the male plant 
In papaya, there's a male plant and there's a female plant. Or in case of pomaira palm, or uh, you'll see that there's a male plant and a female plant. The male plant will never be under the fruit. They will have only the anthers and all the pollen grains. The female plant that bears the fruit. So that's called a dioecious plant. So that can also lead to cross pollination. Now the agents of pollination will study a little bit. Just for example, anemophily. Anemophily means the pollination by uh, wind. Anemo. In this word you will see a word anemometer. That means uh, a, a instrument to measure the speed of wind. So anemophilous flowers are those which are pollinated by wind, like rice and wheat and all these things. Hydrophilous flowers are those flowers which are uh, pollinated in the water. And there are two types. One is called epihydrophilous, like in uh, lotus and all. They are above the uh, pollination takes place outside the water. And hypohydrophilous is the pollination may take place inside the water. And then entomophily is there. The example of hydrophilus is Balisneria, Zoster, and uh, Lotus, uh, the Nelimbo, Lucifera. Entomophilus flowers are the insect pollinated, ornithophilus are bird pollinated. So, thank you very much uh, for uh, this class. Go through it, and uh, if you have any question, you can put up the question. Thank you.